what's up everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i do a valentine's day braid design um what, what i'm gonna do pretty much is a heart in the middle and then i'll do i'll do two braids on the outsides um so i hope you guys enjoy um i start by splitting the hair down the middle and then i do a half heart on each side so here you can see i'm clipping it away and then I do the other side, I just make sure that they're even, and uh, I use a lot of clips because this hair is short. This is my brother's hair, he's been growing his hair out for a while now. Uh, it's finally long enough to braid, but I did realize after, um, after doing the design that his hair needed to be probably just a little bit longer for it to have looked a little bit better. Um, the design still looked good, but I think that if it was a little longer, it could have looked better, but I still really like how it turned out, so um, that's a tip if you're trying to do designs, the hair sometimes needs to be a little bit longer. So right there you, can guys, you guys can see that the braid is done, but I thought that the front uh, needed to be just a little bit more defined, so I just brought it down a little bit. So once I thought the braid was good, what I do, I split it down the middle and I do small braids from the inside of the heart to the outside of the heart. So you guys will see me do that now. And I'll insert a picture of the design that I was actually going for. Uh, I posted it on my Instagram. If you guys don't have me on Instagram, check me out. Uh, my name on there is 17 Diana 17 so uh, don't forget to check me out on there. But uh, I did see a design on there from a new girl that I started following that does braids and I really really like her braids actually I don't know why I had not followed her but I just had found her page but uh, if you guys like watching or if you guys like seeing braids and posting about braids then definitely follow this girl uh, I forgot her username off the top of my head but I'll insert a picture of her information if you guys are interested For product, uh, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I use Shine and Jam, uh, the yellow bottle, the extra hold one. I've never used the braided one. I've kind of stuck to the yellow one. I'm sure that one's just as good or probably better, but um, the yellow one has been my go-to, so that's what I'm using now. I believe I did five or six braids um, on each side. You can customize it, do more, do less, uh, depending on what you want to do. And since his hair is kind of still on the short side, I had to put clips on every single strand just so that I could make sure it wouldn't undo. Um, so there's a lot of clips going, there's a lot of clips everywhere. Um, for short hair, I use a lot of clips. I probably have like 10 that I use because uh, sometimes it's just easier for me to just keep the hair completely out of the way. I know some people tell me, oh, one time I got my hair braided, they didn't even use clips. They just split and braided and that's great but uh, me personally I use clips um, a lot for probably every braid design um, sometimes I don't use that many if like I don't need to but in this case since I'm hair short and since there's a lot going on I'm using probably all of the clips uh, so I would recommend getting clips if uh, if you're new to braiding or if you just to keep it extra clean uh, keeping, keeping it split apart is really really good for all of that and I found these clips um, that I'm using are actually from Framar and uh, they actually have a very very good hold um, the ones that are 
silver and the black is top. The black part is, or no, no I'm sorry. The top part is black. Those are the Framar ones. Those are really good. Those, I find that if there's one hair that's still inside the clip and I pull it out, it would literally pull the hair out. It's that strong that um, I have pulled people's hair whenever I open the clip and I think there's no more hair in it and then I pull it and there's still a little bit of hair and I can feel it pulling. So just let me know. <laughs> Those are really, really good. Um, but as you can see, the design is starting to look like a heart. So looks pretty cool. Um, once I braided it all the way, once I braided the, the heart all the way down and stuff, uh, what I do is, or what I did was, I braided all of the ends together in the middle, so you can't really see the, the design as well because, like I said, this hair is um, kind of short. I think it would have been longer. It could have stayed right in the middle, but it's okay. You know, for next time. <laughs> but, but yes, yeah, so what I did, I just would braid all those braid all those braids together in the middle. And I would go all the way down um, for like hard designs or star designs and stuff. I've noticed that uh, if you keep the design inside the design, then you still get the shape of a heart or you still get the shape of a, whatever you're trying to do. Uh, right here, I just finished it off with a rubber band, and um, they're su super thick, so I actually put another rubber band underneath that later on because I think he was gonna have like a He's gonna have a little hump back there where that rubber band was, uh, so I just put I had to put another one. And then what I did, I braided two small braids around that part design, so uh, just to give it a little bit more of a heart look. Same thing on the other side. I just split it around the heart and braided on this side as well. And also, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, I am wearing my logo on my shirt. I'm super excited. I came out with a logo and I came out with a couple clothing items. So, I do want to post a video talking about just that. So, hopefully, um, when I do that soon. Um, but just want to show you guys if you can see my shirt or my hoodie, my whatever I'm wearing. <laughs> um, that's actually my logo. It's my initials. So. But I will talk more about it in like a video where I just do that. Um, so then after I did the small braids around the heart, then I just do two big braids. Um, and that is pretty much it for the design. So uh, kind of simple, kind of not. A uh, lot <laughs> going on in the middle, but um, if you're new to braiding and you're like trying to do braid designs, I would just recommend using clips. Helps you split up the hair. Helps it. Um, look better, look cleaner, give you an overall better look. As you can see, his hair is still pretty short, so... It's already starting to kind of want to come out of the braids, but... I just try to do my best, the best that I can. I put a lot of shining jam. If you see that there is hair coming out, like right there, I don't know if you guys can see that there was a little bit of hair coming out, 
I just put extra products and this is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, definitely subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.